test area and I'm going to fly the Taycan. I've put the Express LRS into my Taycan and I'm going to fly the same area where I had the problem with the, the 4-in-1 with the uh, RXSR receiver where it's bell safe. Now I've always already done a 10 milliwatt, milliwatt run and it worked, it went completely no problem there and back. Uh, but I hadn't, uh, I didn't have the latest version of Beta Flight on my drone, so I had to change that so that I get all the correct telemetry coming back. Anyway, let's give this a go. Okay, so as I said, we are now on 100 milliwatts, which is the same as the internal 4-in-1 module. So let's give this a go. Make sure I'm recording. There we go. Okay, so we can keep a look at... out early so there's no one around here you have to give my VTX so there's definitely something wrong with my VTX let's just have a mosey around here where I normally get the signal problems okay there we go this is where I normally get a cutout you can see even the video gave up then a bit but nothing okay let's turn around I can only do a, about a two and a half minute flight with the Taycan. Okay, whoops, turn around. You see there's definitely a problem with my VTX. Let me get... Let's pause there. As I already said, I've set the warning up to be negative 98. And you can see the Zero reported straight back and gave the link quality warning at, and it should display in minus 99. Now, if I wanted to pause it here because if you play the video normally, you won't see it. It's just too fast. I think it's on possibly two frames. Oh, well, that was a RSS uh, signal warning. Let me come back towards me. Let me go over a bit. There we go. Oh, definitely having troubles with the video let's bring her back oh, I was too busy flying then rather than looking at my all my telemetry there so we'll take a look at that back in the studio but my uh, video wasn't very good at all then Buzzing, there we go, let me change my glasses over. So there we go. Uh, there was a I was getting a warning on my telemetry then uh, for the uh, for the for the link because I set that siren up so that if it got it wasn't as low as it could go on those settings but it was um, it, it gave, definitely gave me a warning that was just over there. So I really do feel that the, the tower over, over there, which I'm going to show you in a minute, is, the, is causing my problems here when I fly. Um, but I will, when we get back to the studio, we'll have a look at the um, on-screen display and see what was happening with regard to the uh, link quality and the RSSI. Now let's just pause there and have a look at the screen where we can see the best and the worst received signal strength. Now you can see that the best signal was at 36 and the worst one was at 103. Now this is set up to give a warning at uh, minus 98 because 108 would be the failsafe. So 
it didn't fail safe then as you saw you saw the whole flight and we didn't fail safe so the link quality must have been good but uh, yesterday I came here and um, I've, I went I went I think it was 10 milliwatts I think that's the lowest we can go with the um, unit the uh, express LRS in the radio and I went well up to where the problem was lower to the ground and flew around and it was fine but I'm sure let me show you this tower there's the tower over there in the distance hopefully I can zoom in on that and as you can see the tower over there, I'm sure that's what's causing me the problem with the RS signals here we'll have to go to uh, the beach and go and try try there and uh, see what happens I'm sure I'm not going to get those problems Here is the footage from yesterday when I flew the Taycan with the Express LRS just on 10 milliwatts. I'm going to leave the whole footage so that you can, you can speed up through this, just so that you can see what the um, RSSI, the DBM RSSI was, uh, but it never fell safe to, uh, when I did this short flight. We now come out to where I have problems and you what, keep an eye on the RSSI. Here are the received signal strengths in dB for when the transmitter was set to 10 milliwatts. Now you can see the best signal was at minus 43 and the worst was 96. Now I've set the warning up at 98 and that's so because as far as I understand in this mode it would be 108 would fail safe. Now as you can you can hear I'm at the beach and it is very windy but let's see if we can do a test there's no one around so I can follow the road so let's give it a go fly sideways because of the wind. Uh, we're looking good so far. I'm just worried about the video. Okay. Well let's see, we were quite a way Yeah I'm just a bit worried about the wind because it's so windy. I'm having to fight it to come back. Uh, we, at least we're getting some idea of the RSSI here which by the looks of it so far is looking good jeez I'm flying sideways I could have gone a lot further there Oh, let me put 
my glasses on my goggles out in the sun all right we're back that's quite interesting because the now let's take a look at the received signal strength when we were at the beach and i was flying on 100 milliwatts now you can see the best rss was minus 30 and the worst was minus 88 so it was quite a way away from fail saving and i flew quite a distance i think that's close to 500 meters now i know that uh, express lrs can go a lot further than that but this is just my real world results um, that i'm putting out there for you to have a look at i was just a bit worried the wind is really howling from this direction so as i was coming back you can see i don't really want to lose my drone uh, but you could see i'm not quite sure how far i went there but it was quite a distance so there we go that's the test of the beach well, that was an interesting video to film. I managed to get out of the studio in the office and go and go and do some flying. And it was interesting that I'm having um, problems at that the first spot that I go and fly by the graveyard. And it must be to do with that tower. It has to be that's causing the problems there. Um, but uh, I, found, I hope you found this interesting. And, you know, maybe send me your, um, you know, put comments in the, in the description below and say how far you've flown with Express LRS. I'm sure I can go a, a, a lot further. Uh, my setup, let me just show you the drone, or whatever I've done with it. Well, oh, let me go and get it. There we go, I'm back. You can see, uh, it's got very dusty from the beach. Hopefully you can see where the antenna is. I made a little 3D printed mount for it, so I've put it there. That's why I left the antenna on the radio like that. Um, I also changed my antenna for the VTX, but I've got problems with that. I'm quite happy to send this, this drone out low to the ground as far as I can, uh, you know, safely and allowed to go to test it because if it fail saves, it will just drop. But because of my VTX, I'm, um, you know, I don't want to go too far with it. Well, I hope you did find that information useful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Thank you.